Okay, so where we left off on the last one was uh, this yo-yo says that the timing, the engine was going to be completely tore apart to replace the timing belt. <laughs> and that this is a routine thing that needs done, but claims that it did not need done on this Honda that it had uh, 100,257, 101,257, and he claims the timing belt wasn't going to need done. Uh, and then he puts down, he stated he was an ASC certified mechanic and that this was no problem for him and that he would be doing this in his garage in the next week or so. Um, I don't know where they come up with that other than when I talked to him on the phone after the engine spun a rod bearing, I had mentioned to him some things about the timing belt and about what Nick had said to me about the timing belt. But he's taking words that I said and totally twisting them to make them sound like something they're not. But this gets even better yet. The dates of his calls and texts all line up with what actually occurred. Really. Wait till I show you guys the screenshots of the text. And we'll see who's lying there. And then right to you hear this sentence. It is... My belief that the vehicle was damaged while attempting to replace the timing belt and wanted me to pay for his mistake. I, I, other than it took me 15 minutes of laughing and wiping my eyes from reading that. Honda 1.6 D16Y8 engine. Single overhead cam. VTEC. I am sorry, but... Replacing a timing belt is not going to spin a rod bearing. Uh, for those of you who are mechanics out there that are listening to this, I mean, the level of high-functioning retardation is unbelievable. Upon arriving to look at the vehicle, he checked it over. Really? You guys had a lift there, you had an air gun, you, you let me put the car up on a lift, you let me pull the wheels, is that what happened? No. I checked the vehicle over there apparently. I, I wish I knew where I was at when this happened. I test drove it apparently for 10 miles, I wasn't aware of that either. And I ran an OBD2 diagnostic scan on the vehicle, which came back with no problems. Wow. Really? No problems. It had a CKP code in it for the crankshaft sensor that looks for uh, RPM variations. Anyway, moving on. This is kind of irritating. He then drove the vehicle for an additional 357 miles. Now, wait a minute. Didn't you say I drove it for 357 miles up here? So, uh, what did I drive it for? Six, seven, 714 miles then? If we keep adding these 357s together. Anyway, over the next 10 days until the damage uh, was done to the engine or whatever he wrote here. Again, anything in pink's just a flat out made up lie. When he called and told me of the problem, I said I would pay for half of the repair. And I was away. And for him to send a picture of the abdominal of the vehicle to verify his story of the car only making it three miles okay so that part is true but he has it out of sequence with the rest of this paper that was when I first called him right after the car broke down while I was in the tow truck on my way home and left a message he didn't call me back for a couple days so I don't know why he even wrote it the way he wrote it because that's totally out of uh, sequence anyway he wrote he sent me a picture of a different abdominer from another vehicle. I immediately was suspicious and found that he was lying about anything and everything. Attached photos are as follows. Alright, now let me address that. I drive nothing but Hondas. My wife has a Honda Accord. I had an older Honda Civic that was souped up with an older D-Series motor in it. It had a turbo on it, 5-speed. When I called home and I told my son to send this guy the abdometer, uh, which my son sent it to me and I sent it to him, I was out in the vehicle. I didn't want to text and drive, but the bottom line is my boy took a picture of my 95 Civic 
and sent that photo and not of the one that was sitting there uh, with the oil pan off it and everything like that. So yeah, that is my fault and I did put that in the previous videos that that's my fault. He got sent the wrong abdominer, but I did let him know immediately after that that the wrong abdominer was sent. And I had made that part right. But he's using that to his advantage. So anyway, he's claiming he sent all these uh, photos and a bunch of garbage here. And this gets yet again more interesting. He sent a picture of a fake abdominer in an attempt to get money from me. That's not true. I told him about it. He knew about it before all that went down. It made no sense. I can only assume that the closest photo he could find on Google, I have attached the photos of our text conversation that he sent me a picture of a fake abdominer as well as where I agreed to pay half of the part before I found out he was lying. All right, I'm going to stop this video here. I'm over time. I'm going to have to do another video before this one shuts off. So... Pay attention and watch the next video.